Hey everybody, Matt Johnston here and we're back with a little bit of Q&A. So I've been getting some questions now that the atmosphere is changing regarding mask mandates and capacity limits and things of that nature happening uh, with the COVID-19 pandemic. Also getting a few questions about what it means for a small business and how they can go about managing these sorts of things. So question number one is about vaccines. So I have talked about this subject before, but the question that we have gotten is, can I, as a private employer, require employees to get a vaccine in order to come back into the office on a full-time basis? The answer to that question is yes, you can. Be mindful, however, that there may be some reasonable um, Americans with Disability Act accommodations that may apply. There could also be some other medical issues in which a person may not be eligible for, or it may be indicated that a vaccine for that person is not a good idea. So if that's the case, you may have to figure out some accommodations, but you can require vaccination. You can require an employee to prove that they got a vaccination, but since everybody's getting uh, those little cards that say when the vaccines have been administered, you'll be able to do that. So private employers can require it. Public employers, that's a little bit of a different question. There's actually a lawsuit going on uh, in, I think it's in New Mexico, um, where an employee of a public employer, a state employer, uh, has refused to get the vaccine and has sued saying that the state cannot require him to get the vaccine in order to come back to work. We'll see how that goes, but um, private employers, small business employers, you can require the vaccine, but just be mindful of some exceptions that you may have to have. The next question that I get is, uh, my state is contemplating or has actually lifted the mask mandate can I require employees and customers to wear a mask when they come into my facility? The answer is yes. You can require employees to wear a mask inside the facility. It's a relatively low impact requirement. As long as that requirement is applied evenly in a non-discriminatory manner, you can require it. You can also require your customers to wear a mask when they come in. This is similar to the whole no shoes, no shirt, no service rule that you see in a lot of places. Having grown up in Florida and near the beaches, there was a lot of those signs when you uh, look around some of the shops around the beaches, uh, surf shops, restaurants, and things like that. They require you to put on a shirt, put on some shoes, even if it's just a pair of sandals before you come in. So you can also do the same thing with a mask. You can say no shoes, no shirt, no mask, no service, and that is perfectly fine and perfectly legal to do so. So that is fine. The next question that I got is, my state has lifted some of the uh, capacity limits on my business, but the localities are still having these limits on them. Can I ignore the localities? Well, the short answer is you can't ignore the localities, but that may still be a violation of the law and you can end up with more problems than not. So you may still have to comply with the locality rules that say uh, there's a limit on the number of people you can have in your restaurant or there's a limit on a number of people you can have in your gym. So be mindful of that. I do recommend you comply with local ordinances as well as the state ordinances. But you can, of course, make your own decision. Just be mindful. It's easier to avoid a legal problem by following the rules than it is to solve the legal problem once you have been fined or otherwise um, restricted by uh, activity by the government. So just keep that in mind. And the last thing that I want to address is the question of unemployment compensation. I've stated in another video that federal unemployment compensation uh, benefits will be paid through uh, Labor Day of this year. So you may have some difficulty in getting employees back, but you are not required. You may offer somebody a job. If they choose not to take it, you're not required to maintain that job open for them, uh, except in certain circumstances uh, involving large scale layoffs and things of that nature. But be mindful that 
the unemployment is there. It's going to make hiring people back a little bit more of a, of a calculation when it comes to lower wage employees. So there's going to be more questions and answers. If you have any of those, please send us some of those, and we'll be happy to take a look at them. And in the meantime, stay safe out there. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.